Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. So today, for the first time in a pretty long time, I'm gonna take you inside the dressing room with me. We're gonna do some shopping for summer at Old Navy, which is why I am talking to you in my car, in a parking lot, but I'm really excited. I, I've missed actually shopping in store, but being plus size, it, it can be really hard to actually find things that fit me and are in my style when I go in store. And shopping online is great. You know, I've been able to find brands that I really love and that carry my size. But there is just something about going into a store, picking things off the rack, trying them on. And Old Navy recently did a huge overhaul of their sizing system where they now carry all of their sizes, double zero to 30 in store in every item. There's not, you know, a separate little plus size section with like four things. In theory, anything that I see in this store, I can get in my size. So I'm excited. Let's, uh, let's go to Old Navy. And Kenzie's here with me too for filming support, but also emotional support, <laughs> always. I want like a little bit of a longer short, like, like the ones I'm wearing. <laughs> these are from Target though. I feel like my thighs would be on fire in shorts these short, but we'll try them. cute these little ribbed crop tops are, eight bucks. <laughs> Add it to the pile. I'm super particular about like the, the texture of jeans. And so being in store and being able to be like, okay, too starchy, too stretchy, just right. <laughs> so nice. They only have a two X left in the pink, <laughs> which is not my color. So, you know what? I'm gonna try the three X. Okay, no, for me, for me. <laughs> I feel like usually it's the opposite. I'm shopping for Grace and I see things for myself. But look at these. They're so cute. They have sport dresses. I like kind of hate this, but <laughs> it looks really comfy. I kind of wish I hated this. That's what I should say. <laughs> With my sensible sneakers, I will be in full suburban mom mode. <laughs> Dretch tech cargo joggers? Does that mean they have like a USB port in them? <laughs> What's the tech? <laughs> now that looks comfy. <laughs> Into the pile. I have seen like five TikToks about this jacket. People are like obsessed with it, so I'm definitely gonna try it. Ooh. And the matching shorts, which they do not have in a 2X, so XXL and 3X, hopefully one of them works. All right, we are inside the dressing room. Here we go. All right, I categorized everything. Uh, let's start with shorts. So I was a little intimidated about wearing shorts this short, but I, I actually like the way this looks. I feel pretty confident. These are the OG straight short and they're a three inch inseam, which I usually prefer longer. I know my thighs would be on fire walking around in these, but they look cute. And I'm really glad that Old Navy didn't shy away from doing short shorts in plus sizes because there are plenty of plus size people out there who want short shorts like this. And I didn't think I was gonna be one of them, but I might be. I like the look. I like, I, I like the fit mostly. I'm not fully sold on the length, but they're cute. And I got them in the size 20, which fits me perfectly. And then on top, we have this uh, little green ribbed crop top, which I also really love. I grabbed it in the double XL since they didn't have it in a two X, but it fits great. I'm, I'm going to say both of these are maybes. Now we have a longer short. These are the high rise slouchy straight, five inch inseam, also in a size 20. And then I have the same tank top here, just in a different color. And then this one they did have in the 2X, but I actually don't like the fit as much as I did with the XXL. It's just a little bit looser. The shorts though fit really great. I actually grabbed these in a 22 as well. They're over there. The denim just felt a little bit starchy when I picked them up. And so I didn't know if they'd be tight, but I feel like this size is 
perfect and I, I like the length on these. More up my typical alley and also would totally protect me from the chub rub. But there's something about the first shorts that are still like kind of calling my name. So these are gonna be a maybe as well. All right, next up, first this shirt, it's just kind of loose and boxy. It's not really doing anything for me. The material feels nice though. It is just gonna be a no for me though. Like it's nothing special. So I'm gonna tuck it into the shorts though because I'm really excited about these shorts. I love these shorts. They're like a, like a soft linen cargo short. They have pockets, tie waist, elastic band in the back and just like my ideal fit long enough to protect the thighs but still like short and cute for summer fitted in the waist but not like pressing in and a nice loose fitting leg these are a four and a half inch inseam and I'm wearing an XXL they have these in a bunch of colors but none of them in a 2x so I also grabbed the green in a 3x but I feel like the the double XL is perfect these are the first like definite definite yes and I actually might go scope out to see if they have other colors in the double XL because I love these. Now I'm focusing on summer styles for this try on, but I did just want to try this one pair of jeans. These are the extra high rise sky high straight. And they looked pretty similar to my favorite pair of jeans at home, which is from Old Navy. So I had high hopes, but I feel like these just aren't like laying quite right on me. Like the fabric's kind of bunching. They just, they look a little like awkward on me, I guess. I'm wearing a size 20 and there's just not, there's nothing like wrong with them really, but they're a no for me. Okay, moving on to jumpsuits and overalls. We have this little yellow linen romper, which is really just like comfy and breezy. This feels like it'd be a perfect low maintenance, but cute summer mom outfit. Like I could easily, you know, move around, have full range of motion, take care of Grace. Like it's a, a pretty low maintenance piece. It's functional. It's got pockets. It's a nice length, but I don't know. There's, there's just something about it that has me hesitant hesitating where it just kind of like with the jeans it just feels a a little bit awkward there's just something about I think really the fit in like the stomach and the crotch that feels a little bit just I don't know not quite perfect but uh, it's a, a strong contender it's going in the maybe pile size 2x by the way and you know what the, mo the more I stand here and pose at it like the more I I'm getting sold on it and it has pockets so <laughs> okay we have these white shorter alls right that's what they're called short overalls size 20 and I think these would be the classic case of love it in the dressing room and then it sits in my closet and I don't actually wear it I think they're cute I like the idea of these they fit okay just not quite perfect but even if they were perfect I I don't think I would actually get a ton of wear out of them. So these are gonna be a no. I'm pleasantly surprised that the length on this jumpsuit is just perfect. Usually on me, full length things like this kind of drag on the floor. So loving the length on these, but I, I don't really like the fit around the stomach and the crotch. I feel like kind of like the romper. Actually, this is very similar to the yellow romper with the pockets and the linen. And actually, wait, is this literally just the same thing, but full length. Regardless, this one I think is just not, not quite good enough to be a yes, but it's definitely comfy. Okay, now this green romper, I got in a 3X because they didn't have it in a 2X. And I feel like the the bagginess kind of contributes to the look. Like I, I really like how loose it is. It's laid back, it's comfy, and I don't feel like the, the bagginess bothers me anywhere else. Like sometimes when things are loose on me, the neckline will fit a little weird or the shoulders will be falling off, but that is not the case case with this and it does have pockets. It, it only gets better. I like the button front. I like the tie waist. I, I like everything about this. Yeah, I don't think it looks too baggy from the side either. When I first put this on, I was like, okay, I like this. I think it'll be a maybe, but now that I'm wearing it, I, I think this is gonna go straight with the yeses. All right, now we're moving on to dresses. We have this little denim one in a size 20. This dress feels, it's giving like very Dorothy Wizard of Oz, but without the gingham in like the best way. I feel very cute in this. I like the smocked fitted top, the cute little ruffle sleeves and then looser flowy skirt. I like this one. It kind of makes me want to go on a picnic and then twirl around in a meadow. It's fun. It's girly. Um, it's going to be a maybe. Next up, we have this tiered yellow dress with, I don't know 
what this is called, but like the like polka dot texturing. <laughs> I do think this is a really pretty dress, but it's it's not quite like a, a standout for me. And I have quite a few yellow dresses already, so I think it's gonna be a no, but I, I, I would actually recommend this dress if you're looking for something like this. It fits nice, I'm wearing a, a 2X. Got some waist definition, it's a nice length, it's very easy and breezy, and it has pockets. I feel like everything I've tried on so far has pockets. Good job, Old Navy. <laughs> all right, next up, we have uh, a couple rompers and dresses that are all like more athletic material. Okay, <laughs> here's my suburban mom romper. Uh, just just put it on. It's looking a little rough, but I, I, I'm gonna zhuzh it up a little bit. We'll cinch the waist, we'll unzip. So uh, fingers crossed. Moments later. Okay, this is this is a little better. Got the waist cinch, kind of uh, like pulled it out a little bit, unzipped the top, and I don't know. I I you know what? Here's what I will say. On me, it, it does feel very suburban mom. But tell me, tell me that if like Alicia Marie was wearing this, that it wouldn't look very like LA insta baddie, right? I feel like it's just the mindset that you have when looking at this kind of changes the way. I perceive it, but right like this this is actually not that bad. Y'all, I'm torn. I'm torn. It's so comfortable. It's lightweight. It's functional. It's got pockets. I'm wearing a 2X, by the way. And at first, I thought it was going to be too loose and I needed to size down. But once I cinched the waist, I feel like I actually like how loose it is. I don't know. I think, I think I'm going to have to get Kenzie's input on this one. Kenzie, as one of my longest friends, <laughs> I am counting on you for your honest opinion here. When you fix it up, it's not bad. Like, if you accessorize it right, you could make it cute. When you first held it up to me out there, I thought it was like a 10. Like, honestly, I was like, the material, the like, the zippers, but you can make that a fit, I feel like. It's interesting. I feel, I feel like we gotta put it in the maybe pile then. Okay. Suburban mom or LA baddie, you decide. <laughs> okay, this, this one's a big no. It looks like it, I'm one of three things. I'm either wearing a hazmat suit, I'm about to go paint a house, or I'm a ghostbuster. <laughs> It's a no. Next, we have the little athletic dress, which, uh, spoiler alert, it's a yes. I love it. And I have an athletic dress like this from Halara, and I get a lot of wear out of it, but I like this, like, 10 times more than the Halara one. First of all, it's thicker straps, so I can wear a real bra with it. It just fits a little bit better overall. Like the Halara one is a little bit tight around my stomach. And this one is longer and the undershorts are longer too. So they'll actually like stop the chafing. Whereas with the Halara one, the shorts don't. So I can only imagine how much more I'm gonna love this one. The only thing about this that I don't like is something that I can easily change. And that's that the, the cups, the padding here, is like so misshapen and I tried to adjust it for a little while and it's like stuck, but it's removable and I always take those out anyways. So yay, we've got a yes and uh, another like perfect summer momming outfit. I will have no problem chasing, well, chasing around a toddler <laughs> this summer. That's nuts to say, I'm gonna have a toddler this summer. And this dress will be, it'll be perfect for toddler wrangling. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Here is our little color blocked green windbreaker set. It's cute. It's fun. I feel like the, the fit and the sizing is pretty perfect. The jacket is in a 2X and the shorts here are a double XL. They didn't have these in a 2X. So again, I also grabbed them in the 3X, but these ones fit great. I think I'm just gonna stick with the double XL. but I'm torn on this one. I like that you can cinch the waist. I really like the length on the shorts. I like that I could wear these together or mix and match them with things in my closet already, but I'm just not confident that I would get that much wear out of these and I already get so much athletic wear from my partnership with Fabletics so even though I really do like both of these pieces I think they're gonna be a no. Again, kind of like with the yellow dress though, like if, if you like the way this looks, I would definitely recommend it. It's freaking cute, it's comfy, it feels nice. It's a win for someone else, just not for me. <laughs> All right, last thing, I grabbed one swimsuit to try. I like this, Oh, I, I really, really like this. I feel like finding a, a two-piece swimsuit that's more full coverage, like this is like 
full coverage in the back, a higher rise, and a, a long line top. Finding swimsuits like this that still make me feel cute and confident can be kind of hard. And this one totally fits the bill. I feel like I could be totally carefree in this, not worry about the bottoms riding up or the top coming loose. Like that, I am locked in, but it's still cute and girly and summery and still a bikini. And I think these straps are removable. So if I wanted to go strapless, I could and just wear this as a bandeau. Also the material feels like really high quality, which for the price, each of the pieces is $25. And then I'm pretty sure they're on sale. I feel like the quality of the material is better than I would expect. So it's a yes, we're getting a new swimsuit. Okay, so I said this was the last thing, but actually I'm gonna go back out there. I wanna see if I can find any other five inch inseam denim shorts because I like the ones that I tried on earlier, but I'm just not fully sold on them. So I feel like it'll be good to get something else to compare it to and then maybe another color of the linen shorts. And then we gotta do the hard part of uh, going through the yeses and the maybes and narrowing it down to things that I'm actually gonna get a lot of wear out of. I feel like there was a time period where I used to buy things just to buy them, which is really wasteful. So I'm trying to be better about that. So I wanna take a good hard look at everything I'm considering and really ask myself, how much am I actually gonna wear this? Sadly, no other colors in these shorts and a double XL, but I think I wanna order the denim ones online because I feel like those would just go with everything. Okay, I found the exact same shorts actually, the slouchy straight in a darker wash with no distressing, which I feel like the distressing on the first ones I tried on is cute, but after a couple washes and some wear, it starts to look a little scraggly. So these might hold up better over time anyways. No, I just looked through and they go from 10 to 24. So my size is sold out. Oh, they have the white ones though. Same exact style, same cut without the distressing and in a 20. I really I really like the look of these uh, cuffed lighter wash ones too. Also the five inch inseam, um, but they don't have these in my size. I think I'm gonna grab the 22 just to try. Oh my gosh, okay. So the rolled hem uh, shorts, the five inch inseam in the 22. This is the style that I wanted in the first pair of five inch inseam shorts. They have that kind of like vintage look. I love the light wash. I love the cuffs perfect length. Only thing is they're too loose in the waist. The 22s and the thighs are like perfect, but I definitely need a tighter fit in the waist. So I did look online and these shorts are available in a 20 online. So I'm, I'm ordering these and I'm pretty sure these are going to be my go-to summer shorts because I, I'm just obsessed. I love them. Now the raw hem white denim shorts in the 20, these fit really nice in the waist and the thigh. I, I was considering ordering these ones in the dark wash. The white looks super nice in the dressing room, but in my actual life, white things do not stay white for long. So if I wasn't getting the last pair of shorts, I'd probably order these ones in the dark wash online in a 20. But because I like those ones so much, I think I'm just gonna pass on these ones. All right, so these are the no's. These are the yeses. And we got a whole lot of maybes to decide on. Okay, so green ribbed tank top. Uh, this one's gonna be a yes for me. Honestly, I'm surprised I put it in the maybe pile to begin with, but I feel like this is such a great basic. I love the way it fit and I love this color. The brown one's gonna be a no for me. I feel like, again, kind of trying to be more intentional about what I buy. I feel like it used to be when I liked something, I would get it in like three colors, but I think it's okay to just have the one. <laughs> the short shorts, I'm torn. Kenzie, what do you think? I don't know. I don't think I would wear I them. I don't think you would, if you don't love them in the dressing room, even if you like them, you're never gonna pull them. That's so true. That's so true. And I feel like I, I do like these in the dressing room, but I don't love them the way I would need to, to like wear these a ton. And we already have one pair of denim shorts in the S pile. So say goodbye to my uh, cute little booty shorts. <laughs> and then the five inch uh, distressed denim. This is a no since I'm getting the uh, cuffed pair. Oh, uh, I deferred my decision on this and I'm still torn. I feel like then it should be a no, right? If I'm not like 100% confident. It should be a no. If we were doing a video where we were gonna try and style it, it'd be a yes, but. Well, maybe I should, maybe do it. We should put it in the styling closet. <laughs> I think you're right. I think I would have fun trying to style this, but would it have longevity? Like, would I keep wearing it? I don't know, so that's a no. 
Ooh, the yellow romper. This one, this one's continued to grow on me and I feel like I can just see myself wearing this a ton. So I'm, I'm gonna get it. I also love having easy, comfortable dresses and rompers because that itself makes the entire outfit. I don't have to pair anything together. So when I don't know what to wear, I feel like I reach for one piece items a lot. Okay, and then last thing, the denim dress. I'm, I'm torn on this one. I felt really good in this. Like I feel like it, when I put it on, it just made me happy and made me feel good but I have a dress a denim dress in my closet it's kind of similar but it doesn't have the smocking it doesn't have the ruffled sleeves it doesn't have the girly girly vibe yes that's fun. and you don't have a lot of pieces like that that's true and that's what I like about this is the the girly girly vibe but would you reach for it but would I reach for it exactly okay I'm not gonna get it today <laughs> There's a little asterisk on today. If in like a week or two weeks, I'm still like, oh, that dress, I loved that dress. Or when I'm watching back this footage, if I'm like, oh my gosh, I regret that I should have bought it. I can always come back and buy it and then I'll be fully confident in that purchase. So for now, it's a no, which means I am getting the yellow linen romper, the green ribbed crop tank top, the floral bikini, the yellow linen shorts, which I don't think I'm gonna order them in another color because I ended up buying these denim shorts which for actually purchasing tonight these are a no but I had them in the yes pile since I'm ordering these online as soon as I get home the red athletic dress and the green romper okay we were heading to the checkout line when we saw this sign so I don't even have to order the shorts for myself I'll just do it at the checkout thank you so much I appreciate it have a nice day all right I got seven items for $124.24. And then the shorts they did separately, those were $18.80 and they had free shipping, so that's great. So eight items for a total of, hold on math, 143 I think. Great prices, they had lots of discounts. And then also I did have $15 of Old Navy cash. So that brought the price down, but wow, really happy with my finds. And I also had a great shopping experience, which we can go over in the car. I don't think I need to stand outside of an Old Navy talking to a camera for any longer. <laughs> so I had a, a great experience at Old Navy today. I found so many cute things in my size. The store was clean, it was well organized, and every sales associate that we interacted with was so nice and so helpful. The sizing and the fit was also super consistent, and I liked pretty much everything I tried on. Well, pretty much. Insert shot of Ghostbusters jumpsuit here. <laughs> but really, I, I didn't have any of those awful dressing room moments where I go to the place of nothing fits me what's wrong with my body and I really hope that more stores follow suit because Old Navy is really setting the standard for accessible inclusive clothing in a large-scale retail setting like Old Navy is everywhere in the US I, I googled it they have over 1100 stores so most people in the US can find an Old Navy nearby and the low price point means that more of those people can actually afford to shop there and I just love how they have the plus and standard size stuff together in the store being plus size and going shopping with friends a lot of the times means just you know kind of awkwardly picking through the accessories rack because there's nothing there for you or having to go off to your own separate section and I love that that's just not a thing at Old Navy so if you've had a, a rough dressing room experience in the past I think Old Navy is a good place to try again but my, my one negative the, the clothes are pretty basic they're pretty vanilla some would call it boring you could say classic for a, a more positive connotation which is fine by me you know I'm, I dress kind of boring most of the time <laughs> but if you if your style is more unique out of the box pieces probably not gonna find that at Old Navy but yeah I'm super happy with my shopping experience definitely will go back to Old Navy and it just feels good to get back in the car after shopping and feel like yeah that was fun I found some cute stuff I had a good time and I didn't cry <laughs> that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one bye